This is Pixel Productions with a gas mask review. The gas mask I'll be reviewing today is an M48 Apache Aviators gas mask, a distant relative to the M43 JSAM series. The M48 Apache Aviators mask program was implemented at Pine Bluff Arsenal to convert stored M43 A1 Type 1 Apache Aviators masks into M48 Apache Aviators masks. At the same time, a program was implemented to convert stored M43 a1 Type 2 General Aviators masks to M49s. The major difference between the two masks was the right eye lens. The M43 A1 Type 1 and M48 had a notched right eye lens for use with the AH64 IHADS helmet system. Non Apache aviators did not need this feature, so the lens was rounded in the M43 A1 Type 2 and M49. Both masks were adopted as a standard in 1996. The M45 General Aviators mask, which would later replace the M49 due to significant cost savings, was also adopted about the same time, but the elimination of the M49 pro program left a large quantity of M43 A1 Type 2 masks with no foreseeable use by the Army. In 2001, the production of M48 masks was ready to begin. Unfortunately, the requirement exceeded the number of available M43 A1 Type 1s and M48 masks. The original production line for the M48 had closed in 1994, so restarting the line to take a few masks was cost prohibitive. Apache Aviator masks are more expensive and more labor intensive to manufacture than other Army pr protective masks. The only available answer was to convert M43 A1 Type 2 masks into Type 1 masks. Converting the M43 A1 Type 2 masks was the solution, but there was technological hurdles to overcome. First, the masks were assembled with the right eye lens permanently installed, and the lenses could not be removed without destroying the mask. Second, there was no replacement notched eye lens available for installation. And third, there was no approved procedure to perform this alteration, and lastly, there was little funding available for this project at all. So work began to find a method to convert Type 2 masks into Type 1 masks. The M48 team recognized a possible avenue for funding through the Army Operation and Support Cost Reduction Program, but the first proposal was rejected as technologically infeasible. However, through persistence, the M48 team succeeded in obtaining a small grant conduct the engineering research and removal of the islands, but the conversion method was meticulous at the same time time-consuming, requiring the cross-link polyethylene adhesive holding the lens in place to be removed without damaging the rubber face piece. The remaining adhesive in the eye lens socket was then carefully cleaned out, the eye lens socket was lightly abraded, and the adhesion promoter was applied. The new eye eye lens was then bonded in place inside the, inside and outside the mask and then modified and was cured and checked for leakage. An additional advantage of this process was the repair of the M48 face pieces with scratched eye lenses, a defect that would normally classify a mask as unserviceable.